So this is um, wood gears, um, tooth spacing 15 millimeters, gear 1 teeth 10, gear 2 teeth 12. We're printing two gears, contact angle 40 degrees, shaft tool diameter 13 millimeters. That's what it looks like. And we're trying to see if we can actually um, print this to the to the cutter and we are going to see if we can download an HPGL file. So it would make it um, gear.plt. We're saving a gear.plt file from woodgears.ca. We'll just save it out to the desktop. Okay, great. So now we're importing it into the Corel Draw. And we could be just as well importing it into um, Photoshop or anything else. Absolutely. Okay. And and we're going to be looking for your gear file. What did I call it? Uh, it had a PLT extension, so we'll just kind of look for that. Gear.plt. Okay. Import. Okay, you're just going to say OK. Okay. So this is a Hewlett Packard format? Is that what it, it is? It is, correct. Oh. Uh -huh. And then just click your mouse one time. Oh, it only got the one. Hmm. Well, let's copy it and resize it. Okay. Okay. So in the PLT file, it only came out with the one gear, and so we just copied it so that we can use it the space. So we've got four gears exactly the same. Only that it's a hair one. So if we put it on the left, then it's going to cut it. If we put it here on the right, it'll be making a mark rather than cutting. We try to engrave it, yes. Oh, okay. And then we've regrouped it, so now we'll re got right at the mark. Okay, now we'll rearrange them. One, two, three. So we have four right there. Perfect. You might want to nudge the one on the far left down a little bit and over because we're kind of close to the, this one here. Uh -huh. You might want to move that one down oh. just a little bit, just to kind of get us off of the... So that we don't hit the edge. Well, we're, yeah, we're right on the material, and we're not going to... Does that look better? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, we'll print. Uh-huh. Print. And then we... Okay. We need to go... Oh. Okay, we're going to choose the uh, Helix 50 watt. The size, see what's happening here? Yeah, but we're going to okay. choose the Helix 50 watt first. Okay. Helix 50 engraver win 32. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. And then properties. Perfect. We'll go to the advanced tab. Uh -huh. We're going to scroll all the way down to oh. the bottom. Mm -hmm. and there's one called wood vector 1.125 because this is eighth of an inch and we're going to load that. Okay. 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 And then we're going to go to the general tab. Uh huh. And we're going to set the horizontal and vertical to 4.5 by 4.5. 4 4.5. Okay. And then, are we ready? Uh, yeah, let's turn on the autofocus also. Okay, yay. All right, so now what we're gonna do. Can we hit print now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. so print. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit focus. All right. We're gonna lower the table down. Mm -hmm. Pull out our flat table. Oh, okay. This becomes our cutting grid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you put your material in there. And it doesn't matter which way we put it in because it um, it's just going to use the four and a half inch space. Good okay. Point. Okay. So, and we've already sent the print, so we can hit go. And if we cut all the inside circles first, then the perimeter.
What you're doing now is it venting? That you're sharing, uh -huh. where it was flowing air over the top of it. Oh, I see. So now we can just lift it. And is that built in? Is that it is. All the air assist is all built into the system. And on the zing also? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And it blows air over the top to prevent it from catching on fire? Yeah, just uh -huh. extinguishing any of the flare-up. Uh -huh. oh, I see. Okay, because it's wood. It's a combustible. Ooh, look at that. Cool. I like it. Very cool. Oh my gosh, cute this. Oh. And four little dots. <laughs> Don't waste anything. They're all cute. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I could do this all day. Nice work. Well, if you talk about a business card, that's a cute business card. And then you put a little um, wording on it, right? That'd be cute. Fun. Like people would want to keep that and put it in something. Mm-hmm.